If you are a hip hop artist, then trust you me that this concerns you and I promise you that you are going to love this as the world celebrates 50 years of hip hop music right here in the 254. We were not left behind as hip hop heads converge right here at the Allianz Francais to do just that. As they also celebrate Black History Month as well as 50 years of hip hop, we had an array of um, hip hop artists come out to just you know, have a good time, have a reunion. You know, we have artists that you probably have never heard of, underground hip hop artists, as well as artists that you definitely know. That those are the legendary ones from Uko Flani, Mau Mau, Abbas Kubaf, who has been in the away from the country for, um, for the past eight years, but he is back and he was here, as well as the likes of Sharama. I trust you, me. You're gonna love this. Let's get into it. I don't see the crowd moving with me. What's going on? This is entertainment of hip hop. Come on. The 50th anniversary of hip hop is here and it is a time to celebrate not only the genre, but also the entire culture that comes with it. This is hip hop. Come on. Come on. Yeah, naughty by nature. Celebrations are being held across the globe through concerts, rap battles, break dancing, graffiti, beatboxing, and everything that revolves around hip hop. Celebrating this golden anniversary, hip-hop heads gathered at the Allianz Francais Nairobi over the weekend for an evening of nothing but hip-hop vibes. Rafan all day, now you find serious. Man, you can see us mirror match all day. You can be us stepping all day. Follow, follow, sometimes I leave. Sometimes I follow, follow, sometimes I leave. If you thought hip hop was dead in the 254, then you clearly thought wrong. Underground hip hop artists from different hoods in the country started off the show showcasing their rap skills. <laughs> One after the other, from individuals to groups, represented the best way they knew how. Break dancing as part of hip hop culture wasn't left behind. We can't fail to mention that break dancing has been incorporated in the Olympics and Kenya will be representing as well. To be a poet is walking lonely roads. Too far from home, yet ever close to the goals. Touching souls like exorcist, this a blessing, a curse you can't confess. Time came for well-known artists in the industry to take the stage, and when Nafsi Huru and his crew took over, they definitely killed it. When mentioning the fathers of hip hop in the country, you can't fail to mention one Abbas. And after being abroad for eight straight years, you could tell that he still had his mojo as those in attendance loved and sang along to each one of his jams. <laughs> Just after Abbas left the stage, Mash Mashav took over. He is one of the very promising rappers we have, and you can clearly tell that he is way ahead of his time from how he was able to maintain the crowd's energy. Uh, 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 
Finishing off for none other than the pioneers and forefathers of this genre, Ukoflani, Mau Mau, and Nazizi took the show to a whole nother level. <laughs> What a way to celebrate a half a century.